Hello guys and welcome to another video of how to create something on RPG Maker. In this video we are going to be creating very basic quests, it's going to be a short video. I'm just going to show you guys how to do, do things real fast here. And let's go uh, right into it, we need the graphic here, well, let's choose a random actor from the preset RPG Maker uh, actors. We're going to create the trigger to be on third touch and we're going to give him uh, some kind of quest storyline. So we're going to say uh, hello, John was looking for you, for you, for you, uh, you should see what he wants right away. Okay, right. So, let's create John, uh, in this case, because that's what he's, well, the name that we gave him. This is gonna be John, okay, uh, it's gonna be again on player touch trigger, and John is gonna say thank you for so showing up on such a short notice, thank you for showing up on such short notice, here is what I have to say. Alright, so this is just a basic quest. Um, like, if we leave it like that, there's gonna be a few problems. This quest is gonna be just a loop. You're gonna be able to do it constantly over and over and over again. And that's not really what I want, and that's not really what's gonna be useful for any RPG Maker game. And as you can see, we are actually gonna get on the quest, but it doesn't matter if we get the quest, if we don't get the quest, etc. As you can see, we can just like, go and have this conversation line with both of them, regardless of everything. To, do this, to make this an actual quest, we need to control switches. So, let's go here. And as soon as the player you know, goes to here, we're going to say control switch. We're going to say uh, quest, quest on active. Apply. It's going to be, and you can see it here, and that's all we're going to do to this event. Now this event is going to be a bit more complex. We're going to say if quest 1 is active, then this is going to show, because we don't want this uh, graphic, this sprite, this event to show unless the player has actually uh, uh, went and accepted uh, the quest. Uh, I'm sorry, that was my other video, uh, just finished processing. Anyways, in in this case we need to control switches and say quest 1 complete. I've already created the switch, but you can you know, uh, create it very easily. And it needs to be on. In case this is on, we need to go here and say if quest 1 complete is on, it's going to be the same character, it's going to be player touch. And we're gonna go to actor one, and he's just gonna say, uh, I already said what I had to say. Very simple, uh, again, we're not trying to do a complex quest here or anything like that. And yeah, this is it. And we need another page here, and we're just gonna say, if quest one is complete. Give it a graphic. It's got 18 actor one. I think it was this dude. And uh, we are gonna say thank you for finding John such short notice. And this is actually a complete quest that you cannot uh, do twice. So let's go to the quest. As you can see, we don't have an event here because we haven't accepted the quest yet. But if we go over here, hello, John was looking for you, and John immediately appears. I want to point out that you can always check the conversation line here, uh, even though that you have already taken the quest. I usually do that for readability in case the player forgets what the specific quest was. You can always go to the quest giver and go through the entire storyline or quest, uh, quest line again. Anyways. Let's go and finish the quest. Here is what I have to say. And now if you go back to him, 
I've already said what I have to say, as you can see it's changing. And this dude is gonna uh, tell us thank you for finding John such a short time. So this is how you create a very basic uh, questing system on RPG Maker. Uh, you can do a lot with it. Uh, what the quests are, how they're going to proceed is completely up to you. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you if there's anything you don't understand or want uh, clearance on, just ask uh, ask in the comments, and I'm gonna try to explain it as good as I can. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.